So for today, we're going to be looking at the Festival of the Lost armor. I Obviously, it's not Festival of the Lost yet, but I did want to look at the armor uh, to explain my thought process because when the armor actually comes out and I don't buy it, I don't want to hear people saying, why aren't you buying it? It's fire. Let me explain why it doesn't look fire to me. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let's just get into it because I want to talk about this. So first and foremost, I'm going to tell you guys right now that I understand. I understand why people went with the mecha went. Like, I understand because if you put the mecha uh, armor next to the monster armor, everyone and their mom's going to be like, well, obviously the hunters wanted the monster set. The hunters have the best set from the whole set. And I just, I don't agree with that. I personally think the monster set has really cool sets for every class. Let's not look at the hunter because obviously the hunter is really cool. Titans. I think the arms, chest piece, and the boots are very fucking usable. You're telling me you're not going to want to use fur boots, bro? Nah, get out of here. The mark clearly has chains on it instead of cloth, bro. So you literally have chains falling off of you on your mark. The chest piece, I will admit, kind of boring, but I still think that's very usable. And the arms on the Titans, symmetrical. I, I just don't understand. I think the only piece you can give me shit is the helmet. And even then, if the horn and the eye color change color, I can make it work. I can make that work so well. The warlocks, I think the chest piece, very usable because you got to remember the arms are not connected to the, to the, uh, the chest piece. So for me, the arms are probably the weakest portion because the frills, I'm not a big fan of the, that big of a frill because the chest piece does have frills, but there's enough of it where I'm like, that's fine. Like, I don't really care, but the big frills kind of ruin it for me. I'm going to sound like a hypocrite because I think the boots are really cool because I think the claws or the, yeah, the claws on the boots are really cool. I think the only piece that is unusable is the helmet. I think that piece is just bad. Other than that, I think every set every piece is usable hunter i don't have to explain it that shit looks fire then we get to the the mecha suit and i just i just question who designed the hunter one because clearly you had an agenda and that was to make us look bad um let's just okay so helmet i think looks terrible uh i think it looks terrible it looks like my hunter is perpet perpetually like just meh like he's making that face meh Especially on this picture right here. I think the hunter just looks like he's making a face and I hate it. Uh, what else can I say? I think the cloak is really cool. I think the cloak is the only cool thing from this whole set because the chest piece looks a little small. Uh, and I'm going to be honest, I think the leather patches on the sides and the stomach, I don't think that should have been there. I think they should have gone all in with uh, Gundam and just use the, the old school one. Just go in, just go all in with it. But instead they decided leather flaps on the sides, which I'm personally like, why? That just looks weird now. Arms and boots, by far the worst pieces of this whole set. Uh, let's just get asymmetry out of the way. The, the fact that this is asymmetrical will never not piss me off. It's absolutely fucking trash. And I, I'm sorry for whoever designed it, but just know that like at this point, I feel like the person who designs armor sets or people, I should say, just have an agenda of just like, let's fuck with people and giving them asymmetrical shit because let's just get into it. The hunter, one of the sides don't, doesn't have an arm guard like the other one does. Why? It's so easy. Just fucking copy pasta over the other side, bro. I just don't understand it. I really don't understand it. Uh, same thing for the boots, bro. It's literally the same underpiece of the left boot. It really is. Just give us. Oh my. And then you have the hip part, which if that was on both sides, it would look. I'm going to be real with you guys. Even if both all the all of the pieces were symmetrical, I still think it wouldn't have been good because I do think the boot, the chest piece is very lacking. The leather straps really kill the vibe for me. But uh, even I think the helmet also is just a terrible choice personally um uh it's just the hunter lost the most on this set and it pisses me off because when you can you when you compare the monster set with the mecha set it's day and night like sure 
the other pieces aren't as strong as the hunter but they're not this bad as the mecha suit for the hunter the hunter they were out in shot in cold blood dog because it, it's terrible you can't in good conscience tell me this looks good and i'd i'd be like you're lying you're obviously lying uh hunt or titan and warlock i think look amazing like they look cool i don't think they look so amazing that i'm like i need to pick this set up no i really don't i get the references don't get me wrong i as someone who watches anime and loves mecha anime i will tell you i see the references like especially for the hunter and the titan i'd see the references not so much for the warlock but even then i can understand the warlock one to a certain extent like it's cool as fuck i do like it a lot of pieces are gonna be really really cool to mix with it's just that the hunter one looks so fucking trash that i can't really in good conscience say it's good because it's not good it really isn't i'm sorry i'm sorry that i don't adhere to this whole like positivity is everything world hurt but they're i i'm sorry man if if something looks terrible i'm just gonna tell tell you outright like i'm if that makes me toxic oh, so be it bro but i'm just saying right now the hunter one looks like straight doo-doo butter probably the worst armor from eververse i want to say ever but i i I think the blue armor from the other season of the Lost or Festival of the Lost is probably worse because that's just blue armor with a paint job on it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, I think the hunters are malnourished in this one because they we did not eat well with this armor set. Although the Titan and the Warlock, bro, they ate well. Like hunt Titan helmet alone makes this set looks cool as fuck. I think the helmet looks cool. I'm definitely gonna make some videos that are gonna be mecha themed so that way people can do that but just know that that hunter one fills me with so much rage bro like you will never fathom how mad i got when i saw this armor because it's like not only do we have a stupid face not only do we have asymmetry not only does it just not look good? I don't know. Like, obviously this is subjective. People are going to be like, this looks fire. Personally, the asymmetry pisses me off. The deconstruction pisses me off. And what I mean by that specifically is the fact that like a lot of armor sets in Destiny 2, specifically for hunters, you'll see one side that's perfectly like com completed. Like for example, the boots, you see the left side, it has a knee pauldron. It has all this extra stuff on it. And then the other side is deconstructed. And I'm like, why? Why did we need that? It looks fucking t I'm just gonna keep talking about it. Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm not excited for this armor. I'm not even gonna pick it up for the Hunter. Maybe you Warlock and Titan, but the Hunter, I'm definitely not wanting to pick up. I'll probably pick it up just to make a video on it. But even then, bro, like, do I wanna waste 6,000 Bright Dust on this piece of shit looking armor? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.